Welcome insiders to Tech Inside, I'm your host Eric. On today's video we're going over a Hackintosh build for around a thousand bucks. So our first component, the case. We're going to be using the Challenger U3 which is a Roswell ATX case. It's going to start off at around 60 bucks. it's nothing too fancy, it has USB 3 so it's all good. Looking at the motherboard, we're going to be spending about 100 bucks on the Gigabyte H87. The motherboard isn't anything too fancy, it has standard USB 3, surround sound, HDMI, 4 DIMMs for RAM, it's an Intel board, and really nothing too fancy, but it'll get the job done. Now for the power supply, we're going to go with a 750 watt power supply by Corsair, this will cost you around 85 bucks. it'll cover all of our needs for a nice CPU, nice GPU, and power all all the hard drives and everything. Now with our GPU and CPU mentioned, what are they actually going to be? We're going to be using a GeForce GTX 760 for our graphic card. This will cost you around 260 bucks. It'll be great for video editing, for 1080p gaming, and all basic needs really. And for the CPU, we're going to go with an Intel i5 4670K. The CPU will start off at 220 bucks. It's a quad core processor at 3.4 gigahertz, 6 megabytes of cache, and so it's really nothing too amazing. If you can, I would recommend getting like an i7 like the 4770k but still that's not really in our price range moving on to the hard drives i got two i got a 64 gigabyte sandisk ssd this would be great for loading the operating system on and applications to open up really fast and for around 60 bucks it's a great deal and for all my music my movies and all my other files i got a western digital caviar black one terabyte drive for 80 bucks and now for ram i got corsair vengeance ram that's two sticks of four gigabytes so that's eight gigabytes in total That'll cost you around 85 bucks, so it's a decent amount of money. Personally, I would rather get 16 gigabytes, but I'm probably just going to get more Corsair RAM later on, so I can fill up the rest of my DIMMs and my motherboard. Now, those are really all the essential components for that build. Though, if you want to get like something else, like a DVD drive, I got an ASUS one for 20 bucks. I also got a Wi-Fi adapter for around 40 bucks. I'll have those links down below if you want to buy them too. So there is the roundabout $1,000 Hackintosh build. I'll have all the links down below of all the components. So if you want to get them, just click the links down below. Anyway, if you want to know actually how to build this computer, stay tuned. I'll have some build guides of building the Hackintosh and installing all the OSs and all that stuff on the Hackintosh later on. So stay tuned. And anyway, guys, that's the video for today. Please leave all your comments down below. Like this video, subscribe, and share with your friends. And anyway, guys, my name is Eric. This is Tech Inside. I'm signing out.